Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to manually calibrate your barometer on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It shouldn't matter if you've got the Solar or one of the non-Solar models. This video should work the same for all of them. I also like to mention that I'm using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to what any of the hotkeys do. So this is one of those features. If you've watched my videos before, I think I said the same thing with the calibration of the compass. This is one of those things that in most cases you should never need to do. Your watch comes automatically calibrated from Garmin, and by default, it uses an automatic calibration, which uses your altimeter and barometer to manually, uh, or to keep your barometer up to date. But if for some reason you think you're getting invalid barometer readings, or you wanted to manually calibrate it, uh, I will show you how to do that in this video. So one of the things, uh, questions I get from a lot of people is how do you know if your barometer is correct? I've done a video in the past where I'll walk you through some of the basics of the barometer. If you notice, I've got it displayed up here on my screen. I'm showing mine in inches of mercury. The reason I do that is because I'm an Apple user. By default, the Apple Weather app shows you your location, and you'll notice here pressure is 29.99 inches of mercury. So I always use my phone to compare it to my watch to see whether or not I'm getting pretty much the same uh, reading. You can see in this case, it's pretty similar, 29.35 versus 29.99 on my phone. My phone is using a zip code uh, location. My watch should be using my current location based on GPS, so it might be why there's a little bit of a difference there. Anyway, enough about that. Let me show you how to do a manual calibration. First thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to get to your barometer settings. There's a couple different ways you can do that. You can go through settings, sensories and accessories and go to your barometer. I think the easiest way to do it is just go to your barometer. By default, if you press the ABC button, that's your altimeter, barometer, and compass, and it should take you into it. If you're not already seeing it, use the up or down button once you're in this page to cycle through compass, altimeter, till you get to your barometer page. Again, I've done a video in the past that kind of walks you through what all of this information is. Once we're on the barometer to do a manual calibration, we're just gonna press the GPS button. The very first option should be calibrate. And again, we're going to press calibrate. Now you've got a couple different options in here. Uh, enter your current elevation. If you do yes, you can manually enter your elevation if you know it. If you use DIM, DIM is a digital elevation map. Uh, some locations will have this available, some locations will not. In some locations, you might even need cell phone data in order to use this. Uh, this is basically using a digital map to determine what your elevation is and set your barometer based on that. I think the one that most people would normally use is GPS because that's going to use your current location. I'm going to press GPS just to do it. If we would have pressed DIM, in most cases it's going to do the same thing. It's going to acquire your GPS. Uh, again, depending on your location, I'm currently indoors. Um, it might take a few seconds for your GPS to connect. Mine successfully connected. You'll notice the first thing it's showing me is my altitude. I can press that. I can also enter my uh, sea level pressure, which is your barometric pressure. If I press that, it should be showing me my current reading based on my GPS. If I want to change it, I can go through any of these values and change it by moving it up or down. I'm going to leave it the way it determined. Once you get to done, Press done and we've successfully manually calibrated our barometer using the barometer settings. Press OK and then once we're done, we can press the back button to go back. You'll see that when I did the manual calibration, mine went up a little bit. It went to 30.03, which again on my phone, I was at 29.99. So we're really close between what my watch is showing and what my phone is showing. I hope this video helps. Again, this is something you shouldn't have to do, but you can do it if you're in a different location. A lot of times if you've switched locations where maybe the temperature has changed or the distance has changed, you might want to do a manual calibration uh, just so it knows what current location you're using. Other than that, it's a feature that you probably won't have to use in many cases. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out.